Hey, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. I've been editing for over 20 years and we have a YouTube channel with over 150,000 subscribers. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use CapCut on the desktop and how it could replace almost every other bit of software out there for video editing. And best of all, this software is free. So let's jump into the studio and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we're now in the studio. You can get CapCut for two-in-one Windows devices, your iPhone, your iPad, or your desktop. And I'm gonna show you the desktop version today. So let me show you how I would create a video within CapCut. Now, even though we're concentrating on the desktop version today, I wanna to quickly show you a feature in the iPhone version, which is called the prompter. Maybe you're vlogging for the first time, or you've got a script to get through, and you're really struggling with your words. Well, if you open up the iPhone version of CapCut, there's a prompter built in, just like those ones you see in television. Let me show you. This is how the teleprompter function works within CapCut. It's a great feature if you're struggling to remember your words or if you just want to get the perfect script out every time with minimal effort. It's super easy to use and it's built into the iPhone app. How fantastic is this? This is how the teleprompter function works within CapCut. It's a great feature if you're struggling to remember your words or if you just want to get the perfect script out every time. So how cool is that? It means you can look directly down your camera's lens and you can get your words out perfectly. That's the prompter. Now let's jump into remove filler words. So here we are in CapCut and this feature is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna play you this clip here first so you can hear what happened in real life. Today I wanna to talk about a new thing um, that we've been working on. Like it could be the best thing you've ever seen. Um, and I think it's gonna be interesting for like a lot of people. Okay, let me show you how this works. So you can see there, I've used a lot of filler words. And imagine this was an hour long presentation. I would be here editing all day, chopping out clips like this. What you can do in CapCut is simple. Go here, press this, and instantly CapCut is gonna remove some of those filler words. Now let's play it back and hear it with the filler words removed. Today I want to talk about a new thing that we've been working on. It could be the best thing you've ever seen and I think it's going to be interesting for like a lot of people. So how cool is that? All you need to do is hit the delete button and it's done. Imagine you've got an hour long project, how much time this would save you. So let's just say I'm doing a YouTube video review and I'm reviewing these iPhone cases from Buckle and Band. And we've got to a section in the video where we want to add some voiceover. Now, maybe you don't want to use your own voice as the voiceover, or maybe you're not ready to be on camera yet. Did you know CapCut has this great feature called text to speech? We've got these three shots here in slow motion of the black Buckle and Band case. And let's just say you want to add a voiceover to this and you don't want to use your own voice. This is how you do it. So all you need to do is add some text and you can do that by clicking the text button up here and adding some default text. I'm gonna add that there and essentially I'm gonna add some text in. So we're gonna add the text in. This is the black case from buckle and band.com. Now I'm gonna change the font to the Vogue font that we use and I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller because I actually want this to appear within the video as well. So let's take that down to maybe a seven right there. And uh, I'm just gonna move that down out of the way. Now if you play this through right now, of course it's not gonna do any speaking. But here's where the magic kicks in. So with your text highlighted, come up here to the inspector area and then come across to this. This is text to speech. Now, this is where it gets really, really interesting. When we tap one of these, these are basically different AI-based voiceovers for your text. That's gonna turn your text to speech. So let's play a few of these out. This is the black case from buckleandband.com. So you've got a really cool male voice there. Let's play a female voice. This is the black case from buckleandband.com. You can even have cinema style voices. Listen to the trickster. This is the black case from buckleandband.com. How cool is that? Or if you even want someone to sing it, check this one out. This is the black case from buckleandband.com. This is the black case from buckle. 
So pretty crazy, right? So that is really interesting. It means if you're creating ads for your clients, maybe you wanna add some voiceover to your own videos or social media posts, you can do that. So I'm gonna select the normal mail here for that. This is the black case. And I'm happy with that. So all you need to do next is take your playhead back to here and click start reading. It's gonna read the text and it's gonna turn it into speech. And then essentially we have all of our uh, clips down here. I'm just gonna drag this one out a little bit and create a bit of space. And let's play it through. We've now got three shots here with voiceover. This is the black case from buckleandband.com. It features MagSafe technology, which means you can charge an iPhone without removing the case. We've really enjoyed these cases. So how good does that sound? Now, if you don't want to have the actual text above, you can, you can actually remove these once you've done that and it's gonna keep the voice over there, but uh, remove the text. This is the black case from buckleandband.com. It features MagSafe technology, which means you can charge an iPhone with. So that's how you can add voiceover to any of your videos. This is looking pretty good. We've got a couple of clips together. So next we need to add some transitions. CapCut has a ton of them. Let me show you. So let's add some transitions to these clips. CapCut has a ton and find them, just go up to the top here and then go across here to transitions. Now in some programs, I can tell you honestly, some of the transitions in some of the more expensive software is really not very good. So it's great to see that CapCut has an absolute bucket load of really, really good transitions here. And I'm gonna go through a few of these trending ones. So you can see here without a transition, it just cuts to the next clip. It looks okay, but it's a little bit dull. So just take a look at some of these. We can add this glare one in here. Watch what happens here. Boom, it looks like a little photo shoot has happened. I'm gonna take that out. We've got a paper ball if you want to do an effect like this. Let's play this through. Look at that, just how professional do they look? Now for this video, I have to like a, a pull in because for this kind of clip where we're going uh, down and then we're gonna come across to this clip here, this pull in will look really good. Watch this. How good does that look? So have a play around with these. There are absolutely hundreds and hundreds of transitions all built to such a professionally high standard. If you've watched a video tutorial online, you'll often see people cut out and put into the corner of the video. This is great if you want to point to something that's happening in a video or if you want to change your background. And best of all, unlike some other programs, this is super easy to do. So I'm even going to show you this on these clips here. So I've just dragged this clip of me talking outside. You can see it's quite a complex clip because we've got all these colors in the background and me holding a phone and all this other stuff. This would take ages to cut out in Photoshop or Mar in Premiere or Final Cut, but it's really simple in CapCut. Just simply select your clip, go over to video, and then come across to this second option here, which is cut out, really, really easy. If you do have a green screen, you can use chroma key like other programs, but today I'm gonna use auto cutout. And boom, look how good of a job it's done right there. I'm now gonna shrink this down, uh, and put me in the corner like we said. So let's just say I was talking about the thing that's going on in the video. This is how it would look. Here I come. There we go. It's cut out almost perfectly. And look how easy that is to do. So if you've ever wanted to pull off that trick, now you can. How cool is that? If you want to do that in programs like Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, you'll often need a green screen to get it looking good. And that's a pretty expensive add-on to have. Now we've added a few transitions. It's sometimes good to add some sound effects. Now sound effects are great for adding on top of a transition or you can just add them anywhere in your video to really bring up the video quality. There's tons of these in CapCut. You find them by going over here. Sound effects can be found at the top left here under the audio tab. I'm gonna click that and instantly you'll find you've got loads of music tracks. But I'm going to the sound effects. There are hundreds and hundreds of sound effects and you can even search for your sound effect by words as well by typing in up here. I found a quick couple of sound effects to add to our transitions, a little swoosh sound effect, and just for a laugh, I've got a little audience applauding me when I come up on screen. There we go. When you're creating video content for YouTube, noise can be a serious problem for any video. I'm recording here next to a road and this road noise and other sounds will really ruin my video for the viewers. Let me show you this one tick box within CapCut which will sort all that out for you. 
Okay, here it is. You just basically go up to audio at the top here and click noise reduction. So again, just listen to the subtle road noise in the background. Problem for any video. I'm recording here next. And now let's turn it on. And all the noise will be completely gone. A serious problem for any video. I'm recording here next to a road and this road noise and other sounds will really ruin my video for the viewers. Let me show you this one tick box how amazing is that? Captions are so important in videos. Did you know 90% of people who watch Facebook or Instagram videos do so with the sound turned off? You'll know what it's like. You'll be on the bus and you'll be watching videos and you don't want the sound blaring out. So the only thing that can really catch your eye is those captions because people can read them even if they can't hear your video. Now in some programs, this is a manual task that will take you ages to do because you'll need to type out exactly what you're saying. This can be done automatically in CapCut. So on our YouTube videos or TikTok videos, we should always have captions and I'd love them to appear right now. So here's how you do it. Basically go up to text here in the top left. Now, instead of selecting text as normal, come down to auto captions, and then we're gonna make sure we're set to English and click create. And now we have captions on all of our videos and everyone can hear and see exactly what we're saying. This should really help improve your rankings and your views. So it's pretty incredible how fast that is. And if you're not happy with how it's created these captions in terms of the design, you can select any design you like from down here and change all of the colors and the fonts. Now there's one more thing I'd like to do and that's create a thumbnail. Normally you would need to go into Photoshop and pretty much have a degree in Photoshop to work out how to do this. But this is super easy in CapCut and I think this is a hidden feature that not many people actually seem to know about. So all you need to do is scroll down the left here and click this click to edit cover. Now we're gonna go across our timeline and actually it's pick the right frame here. We're gonna use this as our YouTube thumbnail. So click edit. And then what CapCut has is all of these professionally built thumbnails. So let's just say I want to click this one here. We've got this. We've got this one here. We've got this beachy one here. Uh, let's maybe try this one again here to the left. Now we can change all of the design so we can make the background black if we want to. We can make uh, all of the font white, for example really get this looking great and then you've got a perfect thumbnail we can do that for all of these we can edit all of these make them exactly to our liking and then we've got the perfect YouTube thumbnail ready for when we want to upload how cool is that it's done in seconds now our video is done we can export it ready to upload to YouTube so I hope this video has helped you if you're new to video editing if it has let me know in the comment section below and I'll put a link to CapCut in the description thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video